Okay, so let's uh, come home to the solar system. I wanted to do a, a handful of stories here, just updating several missions. Um, and the first we haven't talked about for quite a while, but uh, for the last three years, the Juno mission has been orbiting Jupiter and uh, returning lots and lots of uh, data, which are still being analyzed. And it uh, has just gotten a, uh, an extended mission for uh, several more years. So uh, we expect lots of, uh, of exciting things to come out of this. I just wanted to show you sort of some artistic views of Jupiter. Um, Juno is mostly looking at, uh, in the ultraviolet and uh, looking at magnetic uh, field uh, results for the planet, but it has a, a sort of a PR camera on board called JunoCam, and it's, uh, the, the data from that are released as soon as they're on the ground, and there's uh, an encouragement for uh, just members of the general public to take the data and learn how to use it and process it into, into images. And so there's uh, sort of this small army of uh, very talented um, civilians, if you will, that, uh, that are, are doing wonderful things to, to turn these, uh, these data into spectacular images. And uh, so this is just uh, one example of that. And uh, a closer up view. The thing that impresses me is that they're getting close enough to, uh, to Jupiter that you're actually seeing topography in, in a lot of these atmospheric features. I mean, these are like towering thunderstorms, there's vortices that uh, are, are like a, the eye of a hurricane, and uh, you know, there's uh, just uh, lots of, lots of uh, inspiration there for, uh, for scientists of many different ilks. And this is a, 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 another view, this is one of the darkest spots they've seen on Jupiter, and uh, they're analyzing this right now to see if that would be indicative of, of sort of the eye of, of this uh, vortex penetrating deeply into the atmosphere. Um, and again, you're, you're seeing uh, sort of clouds above the, uh, the, the top of the cloud decks. So um, one of the features on Jupiter that just fascinates anybody that's ever seen Jupiter in a telescope, and you can actually see this, is the great red spot. And that uh, feature has been observed for at least the last 300 years. Uh, um, and uh, it, it is visible in, in uh, amateur telescopes here on the ground. And uh, this is a closer view of that. So every, uh, I think this has happened twice now in the three year course of this mission where the, the path of the spacecraft goes directly over the great red spot. And uh, they, they gather lots of data, but um, the one thing they're looking at now is to track the, the gravitational pull on the spacecraft and try and determine if they can figure out how deep this storm penetrates into the, into the uh, atmosphere of Jupiter. And uh, just by measuring essentially the mass of, of what's underneath the spacecraft. And this uh, is the most recent observation. It was taken in late July when, uh, when Juno did pass directly over, over the Great Red Spot. Just for scale, this is about, uh, twice the diameter of the Earth. So you could fit two Earths in that, in that storm. And the one thing they've been uh, doing over time now is, uh, is looking for changes in the spot. And we know, uh, you know the first close-up observations of the Great Red Spot were done by the Pioneer uh, spacecraft uh, back in uh, 
in the mid 1970s and then the Voyager spacecraft in uh, in the the late 70s and the spot has actually shrunk by about one third in that uh, in that time so there's definitely changes going on and uh, and they're hoping over the course of the Juno mission um, that they'll be able to uh, to come up with models for what's really happening there and this is the most recent release and this is just sort of fun uh, I'll uh, I'll start with that image and then uh, sort of prompt your brain here by uh, what happened in the, this movie uh, 2010 where the uh, Jupiter sort of fell into the great red spot and uh, and uh, became a, a white dwarf star um, so that's the science fiction part of that but the reality is this is the shadow on the cloud tops of the of Jupiter's moon Io and uh, this is one of the first times they've gotten really close to uh, to one of these uh, moon shadows and that's just projecting it onto the entire planet so it's it's certainly a a striking sight